Welcome back to Red Fan of Destiny here for another episode of All Your Vehicles Are Belong to Us. The, the series where, where we collect, collect all the vehicles from all the places. places. Oh, oh, hell yeah, Extreme Circuit. Let's, Let's get Extreme. Um, oh, we're doing R3 class race now. Do, do I have an R3 class, class car? <laughs> um, should it be? Yes. I thought about customizing it, but actually we've been playing a few classes down, so let's uh, just whoop their asses with the road car, shall we? I'm wondering if that, if that starts to become impossible uh, at this point in the game, but we'll see. We'll see. If this goes well, I might actually try and race them with an A-class car. But I am trying to do um, higher class... World Championship races, just so I have um, tracks that I can send the higher driver round on. Because the obviously you want the longest race possible, so you have to uh, come back later. Still not sure. Ow! Recorded. Slam my knuckles into the table. What an idiot. Okay, here we go. Does it occur to me that I did not check if we actually need to do this race or not? But whatever. Look at all those fancy racing cars. Which the weird thing about the McLaren F1 is the steering wheel is in the middle of the car. Very unique design. Which I think makes it the only uh, 250 plus car. Oh shit. I'm just drifting right now. I think it makes it a very rare hypercar that has three seats. It's actually the highest capacity <laughs> hypercar of any make. Ooh, that wasn't good for the gearbox. So obviously the McLaren F1 is more than capable of playing with these fellas. Um, especially when we get to the big straight that I notice is at the top of the next um, circuit. Essentially this track is three or four circuits combined. Three? I guess it's three. Yeah. Well. Three and a half, I suppose. Because you got this wide open style track what was that we have that sort of cliffside track we were just on and then we have the uh, go-kart like track oh damn it Let me rewind that Definitely getting a lot more chance! It really feels like I can't really go full throttle most of the time. But I guess that makes sense. In a car which does 200 and whatever it does. I forget what the top speed of this car is. It's at least 230, I, I want to say.
Doing 160. This car does not feel stable. I'm sure um, McLaren would not recommend trying to max one of these uh, with no traction control, uh, stability control, and no anti-lock brakes. It's really designed to work with the computers, not with them all off. Oh, I think that's enough cockpit view. Let's have the outside for a little bit. You know, I'm really surprised there's no, like, huge rear wing on the back of a McLaren F1. You'd think you'd need that. Whoa, shit! So it does have a braking wing, but not a regular downforce wing, apparently. I guess it would be designed to be kind of slippery, because it's supposed to go through the air. Not supposed to slow down! And technically speaking, a rear wing is slowing you down um, in a straight line. But it does give you a hell of a lot more control! The way, mm, I guess the right balance of it is actually speeding you up because it's giving you more grip and then you're putting your power down. No, 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 no. How fast was that? Does this car go in second gear? Like a hundred? Nope, nope. That's 75 in second gear. So, do most McLarens cruise down the highway at like seven in second gear? We're like third gear, third gear, the cruising gear. Yeah, I think this car is so unstable, it's not really fun anymore. It's just... tense. Trying to keep it on the road. But... Turning the track control off will not make me a lot of money, so I gotta keep it off! That is really not helpful. Just gotta... Mm -mm. Hello. Get out of my way, please. Okay. We're good to go. Just gotta not crash for the rest of the race. Which is fine, because we have rewind on. Finish line. Let's do it again. So, how do you guys enjoy, um, the Moonlander games the past couple weeks.
finally realized that I'd forgotten to do <laughs> Game of the Year for 73. Um, got him done. Wasn't actually the game I first intended to play, but it was a game from 73, so it works. Not like there's much choice back then. The 70s was um, pretty quiet on the gaming front. Yep, just 100% out of control. been an accident. So I think when I go to Le Mans, I'm definitely going to turn traction control on. Because I would very much like to be able to actually drive my car at 200 miles an hour. Gotta get that perfect speed rating. I did so well in that corner. Uh, bye. I think the biggest issue with this track is this hump right here. It totally unsettles the car. It's 170. Oops. That's tricky. Let's just start breaking slightly earlier, I think. I guess it's about breaking pointing in the right direction. I think I'm starting to get used to this car. Which is, of course, exactly when you crash, isn't it? This is starting to feel perfectly manageable. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah, there it is. I should, yeah, I should rewind. It's very delicate. Let's put it that way. Oh, I guess if it starts to slide, you just need to let off, let it 
get back under control and then you can floor it again. Oh bugger, it, that was all wrong right there. Oop, oop, uh. So I guess customizing this car would be a bad idea. That, that went about as well as can be expected, I think. Ooh. A little bit too much power in that corner. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, and that's just a drift. Okay. Whew! That was a tense race. Even with rewind, it was tense. Championship over. challenge events oh boy I'm guessing that the I think eight cylinder was it no it'll be here was it eight cylinders I'm pretty sure it was blue yeah, I don't think the, these are the full tracks or not. So let's look at the speedway challenges. Okay, no Sedona here. So let's try and get this card. Well, I guess I can't change card. Okay, <laughs> we're just doing this car. So I guess these are all Chrysler products. Is Chrysler Plymouth? 
Yeah, I guess that must be because Dodge is most certainly Chrysler, and the the Roadrunner and the Charger Daytona were very similar. Speed or reverse? Damn it! This might not count. Oh well. Here we go. Bit of glitchy sound. Is that working? Just sounds deafening. Oh shit. You gotta turn a bit there. Coming through. So it looks like you just kind of have to lift off a little bit as you come out of the corners, and then you're all good to go. Could do eight laps? Damn it, I knew I should have brought a slower car. Not that I actually had a choice, but, you know. No fifth gear to change to. Stuck in fourth. A little bit of contact, but... Nothing too severe. Four gears is not enough. Oh no. Okay, that one we're going to just... That's why one of the corners is tighter than the other. No, I guess we're going to start lapping people, because I can... See how close these guys are now. Yep, I can see last place. I guess we got two laps of fun coming up. Whoa, here we go.
Oh, I'm only laughing at him because he's crashed. Ooh, nice Cuda we just passed there. Surprise a few more of these fellas. Come on. Ooh, uh. How are these people driving so slowly? Is that an old Charger? No, Challenger. Chargers are bigger and longer. Actually, I swear Chargers are long and Challengers are wide. I, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's how they look. Coming through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is he in the same car as me? I think he is. Be passing him in a second. Would why? Well, that was suspiciously easy. <laughs> Two Plymouth levels. Showcase. Let's take a peek seat. Cool. All right. Just confirm something about that. Previous. It wasn't this one, was it? It did count. I'll take it. Wish I had another Plymouth, but whatever. Are we going to have any other Plymouths? Or I should say any other eras of Plymouths? Or just the old bustle cars? Like, can you give us a Prowler? It'd be entertaining. What else did Plymouth make? Um... Let me see, they made a bunch of Barracudas. The Roadrunner. Roadrunner, Roadrunner. Drive a thousand miles an hour. Or something or other. Hmm. Is that a problem with this car? Ay, ay, ay. Whoa, 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 what is he doing?
Not first gear. I feel like you could tell this is a NASCAR circuit. The corners are kind of gentle. Do they not race as many cars when they do these circuits in NASCAR? So it seems like the numbers they usually have on those, the uh, ovals would be a little tricky on this track. Do we actually need fourth gear or is third okay? Because the thing I always liked about the uh the Roadrunner is it was the mascot at my college. And coincidentally, the college was founded in 1969. So you can have a 69 Roadrunner in uh, UTSA colors. <laughs> Weirdly, you can do that about almost every school I went to. Elementary school is um, Stallions, so not, not a huge leap to jump to Ferrari from that. Middle school was Eagles, Eagle Talon, or um, that other Eagle thing, this Eagle Speedster. I don't think the Eagle Talon years lined up, because the, the elementary school was started in like 2002 or something. And then high school we have the Viper. That was like 20. 10. So, yeah, definitely a Viper for that year. And then college, Roadrunner, and then secondary college, um, River Bats. Unsurprisingly, there is no car called the River Bat. Though, I guess, I guess you could just have a Batmobile, couldn't you? <laughs> it's a bat. It's a Batmobile. Well, no, no, actually, it would be a the bat boat. That would be a river bat. <laughs> the bat river boat. That's what we need. <laughs> The Louisiana Batman's bat boat. Swamp bat boat. They have bats in swamps? Is that a thing? Can we drift? Can we drift? No, okay. Uh, that wasn't good for something. Oh, it's too straight to drift across the line. Oh, looks like this is the end of the episode. Wait. No? It looked like it was the end of the episode. It is the end of the episode. Just a second, let me pull up the old list here. It's buried on a 
different tab. This would be Iconic Concept. Oh, we want this one. I'm not sure how iconic any of these are. I mean, do you remember that there was a SLR with no windshield? Or that the only reason I know about that is because it's in this game. I've never seen it anywhere else. <laughs> Apparently this car is worth a million dollars. So it looks like we'll be back next week with the ultimate Grand Tourer. Woohoo! Oh. It's, it's only a baby, baby Suzuka. Alright, I'll, I'll see you next week. week.